guys, my name is Borto Tegnik, Top Sheet Photography and today we are going to a special place. Okay, where are we? You know, Mona Lisa, Eiffel Tower, Venice, you know, Buckingham Palace. That's so 80s. That's so 80s. I mean, oh, this is something completely different. Okay, we are in the middle of Slovenia. That's about a three hours drive east from Venice. And you probably don't know it, but Slovenia is one of the greenest countries in the world. Actually, it's on the fifth place on the whole planet. And we are in Konchevsky Rok. That's an area of 500 square kilometers of forests. And I said to myself, what if we make a photo festival here? accessible by you know normal car okay I have a top sheet car but you don't need to have a top sheet car you can have like a average BMW or whatever you know even Toyota might do you know it will last for three days it will be only for about 50 people uh, and uh, it will be really cool it will be really really cool let me explain you why <sighs> or if you want to see really cool exhibition in an art gallery like this why not huh why not isn't it cool and it will be so cool to see a slideshow, you know, or a projection here in the ruins of this um, of this cellar. And we will also learn some uh, surviving techniques, you know, how to make fire, how to take some water that is not drinkable, disinfected, make it drinkable. Uh, in this in this cave, I want to have exhibition of camera obscuras. I want to have a talk um, of a philosopher who will talk about meaning of camera obscuras, perceivings, and uh, perceiving, of psychology, philosophy and so on. It'll be really crazy stuff. Uh, but of course, you know, photography, we will do a lot of photography. Oh, by the way, I have a joke for you. But I warn you, not many people will get it. Uberto! I told you, I told you. Read the comments, I'm sure Italians will get it. And meet Tony, the Minister of Transportation. <laughs> I have this crazy idea to ask Tony to carry our gear through forest. I mean, if it worked in the old days, why shouldn't now? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> expeditions to the amazing places, something like this. Water here is really clean, so don't try this at home. During our walks, we will pick herbs. Let's say, for instance, uh, this herb here is called chemash, also known as wild garlic. It's actually much better than garlic. Sure, in July there will not be uh, chemash anymore, but we can pick we can pick, pick the roots of this plant. It 
It's called a deer's tongue and uh, the roots are very sweet. Uh, uh, old forester told me that they were using these roots for, uh, as a sweetener for their coffee. Yeah, <laughs> it's like shopping mall. Nature is like shopping mall. Just the only difference is, you know, you can, you may pick something that, you know, will, will get you to hospital. <laughs> That's why you have us, guys. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Most of the stuff from shopping malls will get you to the hospital. <laughs> okay, let me explain why this festival is actually happening. Why is this actually possible to do it? The thing is that the local community around uh, that is making all the activities in Kuchowski Rock, we came together and we, uh, we are connecting each other and we are making a series of events. And when I talk a local community, I mean a really wide local community. We are talking about uh, herb pickers, uh, beekeepers, uh, hunters, um, uh, cave explorers, uh, bicyclists, paragliders, um, who else? Ornithologists and of course artists. So we are all coming together and we are helping each other. And our day will be made out of challenges. When let's say, when we will make a photo expedition, when we will arrive to a certain point, our task will be also to make a sculpture there. A sculpture using only uh, ropes and lines, you know, the stuff that can disintegrate, using um, branches, leaves, stones, something like that, you know. Uh, a sculpture in, a, in an environment. A beekeeper will display four or five uh, different kinds of um, honeys and you will have to uh, guess is it from chestnut, from pine tree, from you know uh, grass field or, or is it from a supermarket. <laughs> I'm joking. So the main thing is that we get people to the forest, that they will learn something about environmentalism, how you know fragile and, 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 and so sacred place it is. So our task is to raise awareness and uh, respect to this environment.